Hey ladies, it's Charlie O and Lola, and we're the Shady Ladies. We're a couple of love coaches that love to sit on the patio, drink champagne, and talk about sex and love and relationships with no shame. We're here to help you to keep it exciting. Today uh, with Charlie O and Lola, and we would just want to shed some light on things like favorite positions and what's your favorite position, why is it your favorite position. Um, there are so many to choose from. I think if if you can imagine it, there's a name for it, which that was new to me. <laughs> Well, and because there's so much social media out there, some of the same positions, if you look at the pictures, they kind of can change them a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. so it might not be exactly what you thought it was, but if you look at the picture, it's the same. Ah, so that gotcha. being said, when you're on the internet and social media, that's what's going to happen. But we are going to have a sex position um, calendar, so meaning that you can look and see, oh gosh, that's the cowgirl or the laptop mm -hmm. or the the... <laughs> cougar or whatever those are <laughs> and then we're going to kind of create our own names but they will be the exact same position but and try to keep it as this as you know as simple as we can yeah but for sure and we're going to uh, basically pick the ones that we've heard or have known to be our favorite ones yeah. too yeah definitely well you know so i'm i look at the all the different ideas and the different positions um I have to say all the ones that have a feline name are my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> just looking at them, like you're the, like, like the oh. Like the panther. Yeah, like, you just yeah. want to go, Row. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like the bobcat, the cougar, um, jaguar, the panther. Yep. What <laughs> yes. about the breakfast? I say yes What about those. the breakfast spoon or the hound? The hound? Yeah, there's like the hound. But, I mean, I'm, I'm just I, saying, there's different, like, different people call them different things. Ooh. So, yeah. I so. don't know what that one is, but I would love to know. I might have to do some research there. Yeah, there's quite a few. And there's lots of references out there. So, um, you know, whatever we talk about today is not exhaustible list type of thing for positions. And, yeah, I'm sure there are people who rename them. Oh, yeah. But the nice thing is, is what we're, our whole goal is, is just to keep it exciting again. And so Absolutely. how we do that is to make it simple so you don't have to go Google everything and whatever. We'll just have those positions that are the most popular. Mm -hmm. So you can just print that little puppy off and then that could be added to your sex calendar for the month. Mm -hmm. So maybe you want to be a cougar that night or maybe next Thursday you want to be a jaguar or maybe your husband wants to be the cheetah i don't yeah. know or the hound dog i don't know but whatever whatever hound dog. whatever that looks like but this way it just kind of keeps it simple and you can get it when from us and you can just basically as you're trying to um help yourself with yourself your love life whatever that looks mm -hmm. like you have one place to go and you can print it all off and and keep it exciting yeah definitely so i i kind of have a funny story so not the hound dog i have no Oh, I don't know why I can't hear that word. I just, I would have, I know I can't have a sense of it. I'm not having it, the hound dog. I'll put in parentheses the hound dog as I create the calendar because I know I can't have that. I just can't there, talk about it. I yeah. actually have a funny, there's a funny comment about that one. I don't have a story, but I do have a, okay. a funny, <laughs> I do have a funny story about positions. So, um, just a little bit, I've talked about that before on my background, um, of my, whole adult life was mostly in a pretty closed-minded religion and so I I mean I didn't look at this stuff I didn't know much about it and um that's what they all say yeah it was right. it was I, I definitely didn't and um shame on me for not doing that well anyway so back to today and um I was <laughs> with my sweetheart my husband now um we were just having fun in the bedroom and 
he la, 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 <laughs> he la, named la, la. a position, and I was like, "Holy hell, that has a name!" <laughs> I thought I had kind of come up with it randomly, but anyway, so yeah, so like the reverse cowgirl is <laughs> there's a name to it, and ah. I didn't even know, and that 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 was, I was I was giggling, I was kind of surprised, and. Kind of not, but anyway, that was kind of a funny story on positions. <laughs> yes. So you could add that to the um, the um, one for every day of the month sex position. Yeah. That could be yours. I like it. And the it. hound dog will be something different. <laughs> I am, can't even imagine what the hound dog is. We got it. Someone do a Google search really quick. It's called the modified doggy, but they call it the hound dog. I don't know. That's what I told you. I they have different names at sites. Like when you research stuff, it's like, what the heck? And then it's like, so to me, a hound dog would be like, uh, yeah, no, yeah, that to me is, so name doesn't be sexy whatsoever. So that, will that doesn't be, sound so sexy. So if anybody has a suggestion, what you'd like me to call it besides the modified doggy slash hound dog, I am welcome to suggestions because it is not going to be that in my calendar. List. So. so one of the ones that stand out to me is the bobcat. And um, it's the, the guy is sitting, sitting up. Uh, on the bed, whatever, on couch, whatever, and she's facing him. She has her hands underneath her knees, but yet on his shoulders. Oh. And he's holding her her back kind of close. Okay. So, yeah, that just looks amazing to me. I don't know. That looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, there, there's like some, like, yeah, the, um, I, if I'm going off of what I've researched and stuff, it's kind of like, um, there's also, you could do that. See, now I have accomplished another name I need to change. The doggy with the vibrator. I don't oh. want it, but I don't want a doggy. I want it to be something else. So <laughs> we've got to think of something new. Well, so, I, I mean, I to know. incorporate um, a vibrator into the bedroom during intercourse actually is not a bad idea i think because no i think it's great i just don't want the name doggy yeah i, I want agree it some well so called doggy style so just to help get this information out so that you don't feel like you're different or something's broken um 80 of women do not orgasm during intercourse 80 percent. correct so likely you are in the majority and um, so, you know, women need clitoral stimulation. Correct. Either prior, well, they, they need it prior, they need it during, um, in order to reach climax during Correct. their course. So, yeah, so I think that's just basically what that position would be. Um, yeah, there is, so the jaguar. This one's kind of interesting, I think. Um, where he's on his back, she's laying completely on top of him, right? So mm -hmm. belly to belly, chest to chest. Um, but basically, intercourse is happening. Her legs are on the inside, and his are on the on the outside. And it and it is described for deep penetration. So. Gotcha. Okay. That's kind of nice. So I was thinking um, there's some that I was looking at that you might need a little bit of physical um, like strength in it. Because <laughs> yes. Just, yes. So you just want to make sure if you're going to be doing one of those type of... Acrobatic. Like, yes, that, or the crab walk or something like that. You want to make sure you have not either just ran a marathon or have never ran a marathon because right. either way it's going to kill you. So you just kind of want to, when you sign up for it, you kind of want to be okay with what those positions are because nobody wants to go to the emergency room right nobody wants something broken mm -hmm. nobody that's a story you're gonna have to tell the next day and yeah. you don't want to lie <laughs> so that's why that like a, like a 30-day calendar would be great to have because then you can kind of be prepared for what you are signing up for ahead of time because to me mm -hmm. if i knew i was having to do a crab walk yeah. i would have to make sure that i had like some really good like stomach and leg muscles yeah there are there's some standing positions you're like whoa yeah and it's yeah. called, you want to be having fun and have sex, not be like in a full body cast the next yeah, day. Yeah, that, that, 
some of them look a little cray cray. Yeah. So um, a little bit out there, but hey, if you are that built, that athletic, um, go for it. Yeah, absolutely. There's another one I like, the Panther. It's kind of sleek. Yeah. It's seductive. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You know, kind of dark. Yeah. So um, yeah. So he he's laying on his back. She is on top on her belly, but heads are opposite ends, right? Right. And she has her knees bent, so feet are up in the air, and he's holding her feet. And wow, yeah. that looks very sexy. That does look very sexy. I, yeah. I totally agree. So, yeah, d- don't even worry about the names. Just think about the body positions. How, how fun is that? Yeah. I agree. So with the doggy positions, I realize they don't sound very sexy, but, but what if they're in a sexy place? That's true. Or they have a sexy sexy dog collar on. Or a whip. Yeah. Or a chain. It's like, or a chain. I can't resist you, sweetheart. Sweetheart. You are, I'm just going to get you right now, right right on top of the washer and dryer. Right. (laughs) Corella DeVille with her, um, what are those dogs called? Dalmatian dogs. Right? I can see her. There you go. Yeah, there there are some names out there that aren't quite so sexy. Um, but they're all, it's all worth exploring. And some, some positions are G spot specific. Um, I personally haven't found a lot of success with that as much as specific intercourse with clitoral stimulation at the same time. So correct. I, I think that's. For the majority of women, that's super important. But there are some people that can. And if not, then that's when you incorporate your vibrator, Mm -hmm. your sex toy, or whatever that looks like. And then everybody can be satisfied and nobody goes to bed angry or hangry. Yeah, right. Right. Oh, absolutely. It's not any worse than if you can't, if you're starving for food and if you're starving for sex and you go to bed hangry or however you want to call it. It's going to be the same thing. Mm-hmm. So. For sure. Yeah, there's, oh, here's a fun one. There's um, the G-spot angling backfire. Wow. So he's on his knees. Okay. Kind of sitting on his heels. And she's facing the same direction, but bent over. And let Sophie has fire. good calf muscles, like I yeah. keep saying. Make sure you're make sure when you yeah. sign up for what what aerobic sexual activity you're exactly. gonna do, you're that guy or yeah. woman that can handle it. Well, and I think that's oh. important to mention that, you know, your your overall health is important for this too, for longevity. Yes. And to be able to really enjoy it. I mean, you don't wanna like male or female, you don't wanna putter out in two minutes. I mean Absolutely. seriously. So For sure. <laughs> <laughs> so this last position, the 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 backfire, it is um, taken from the Tickle Kitty um, book that yeah. of her yeah meow, of her positions, and I I think it's a beautifully done book. They're all looks like kind of pencil drawings, um, but they're very detailed, and they make very clear sense. You you. You know, it's not like you're like, what is that, or or anything like that. So we'll we'll provide that link um, to the Tickle Kitty. Absolutely. Well done. Well, very well done book. I highly recommend that one. I know there's a lot of resources out there, but that one it just really kind of drew me in. So one other little thing about positions that I thought would be worth mentioning is position accessories. So Ooh. yeah. So there's a lot lot of options out there Um, but even just like a basic wedge it looks kind of like a cheese wedge can really help enhance you know your time in the bedroom and really make things more comfortable more fun explore Um, and so we definitely say yes try these things they're super fun super worth it Um, anything that would help make your sex life more amazing. But one little thing about these things that comes to mind is how do you store them? Oh, how do you? What if you have family? What if you have kids? What if you have like a nosy mom? (laughs) Or what if you 
don't want anybody to know about them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what are you going to do with them? Yeah. So we would love to hear your thoughts, what you do. Um, we don't have little kids in the home anymore. Charlie O doesn't have little kids in the home anymore. But um, yeah, what do you do? How do you store your little exciting items that, you know, you love to play with? I'm sure there is a love storage unit out there that yeah. we will be able to find. For sure. So yeah, we want to hear, let us know what you think, your thoughts. What is your favorite position? And remember, keep it exciting. And sexy. Absolutely. Well, I am happy with today's, and so we'll have a bunch more information on our website for them to be able to find out more about this. But mm -hmm. again, having um, fun on the patio. I love it. The shady ladies. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah.